we've all done it. We're in a session on a website, and it could be that we've logged in or we're just browsing, and perhaps we've dropped a couple of things in a shopping cart. At any rate, we fiddle around and let the session expire. Some sessions are set to expire in a few seconds, while others seem to go on for days. The timer runs until you send a request for another page, and the time is then reset and starts over. If you want, in your application, you can set the whole application to one default time and then forget about it. All sessions will be timed out when that amount of time expires. You do that by setting a value in the web.xml file. Here you see the session config tag with only one entry, a tag for session timeout. Now, this time is in minutes. This one sets the timeout to 10 minutes. But you can change the timeout for any particular session. You could do it based on what a person is doing. For example, if somebody has dropped a lot of stuff in your shopping cart, you may want to give them more time. Now, this servlet starts out by retrieving the session object from the request object and then calling the getID method to get the session ID. At the top of the page, the session ID string is displayed. A call is made to the getMax inactive interval method to retrieve a timeout setting. The value returned is a number of seconds and it's displayed here. Next, the interval is changed. In the session object, the interval is set to 30 minutes. From this point on, the timeout interval will be 30 minutes for all the life of this session. Here, the timeout value is displayed again. It should now show the new timeout value of 30 minutes. Here you see the first timeout value is 600. That's 10 minutes and seconds, and that's the amount of time that was set in the web.xml file as the default for this setting. Here is the same method call after the timeout has been changed. The value 1800 seconds is 30 minutes. Now, the timeout for this session has been changed no matter where this browser goes in the application. As long as this session is tracked, it'll have the same time. Now, watch what happens when I reload the page. Here you can see that the time was set to 30 minutes when the page was loaded. It'll be 30 minutes until this session ends.